AITA for not agreeing to a paternity test unless my husband goes to therapy. I 28 female and my husband 32 m have a 3 year old son together. There has never been any doubt that my husband is the father. I've never given him any cause for concern that I cheated on him. He acknowledges all of this. Last week, he came to me and said that for the last few months, he has been plagued his word with this anxiety that our son is not his. They don't look identical, granted but they definitely share similar features and I see my husband whenever I look at my son. I was obviously blindsided by this. I had no idea he was having these thoughts. I asked him to explain why he thought that he wasn't his and he couldn't really provide any answer other than a gut feeling. He asked me if I would be okay if he got a paternity test done so it could ease his mind. I initially said absolutely not, no way in hell, I was very very offended. He told me that he could just do it without my permission and I said if he did that, I would never forgive him. My husband does not have a history of anxiety but he did lose his job back at the start of the pandemic so he's been with our son most of the time while I work my full-time job from home. I know this hasn't been easy on him. I'm not a psychiatrist or anything but maybe he is starting to resent our son or something from just having to be around him constantly. After our heated first conversation, I spoke with some friends about it, and they said that he was probably having psychiatric problems due to the stress of not having a job. I came back to my husband and said that if he went to therapy, and maybe started taking some anti-anxiety meds, that I would consider getting the test. He was very upset at this and said that once he got the results of the test back, he wouldn't be anxious anymore and that I wasn't being fair by making him go through a whole rigmarole again. His word just to get peace of mind, which was a phrase he used a lot during this. He again threatened to just get the test without my permission and I said this would effectively end our relationship. I think there's something more serious going on here and I thought that my solution here is as fair as I'm willing to be. My friends are divided, some think I should just take the test and others are saying he's being insane and that if I cave to this, there's just going to be something else. I need some neutral perspective here. AITA. Edit. I haven't read all the comments here because the amount of responses has been overwhelming. However, I want to say that I really do not appreciate strangers attempting to diagnose my husband over the internet. It is disgustingly presumptuous. I'm his wife and I don't feel qualified to do that, which is exactly why I want him to go to a licensed therapist. Another thing I'm seeing pop up is that I'm somehow demanding that he take medication. I said maybe medication, meaning that I only think he should be on medication if a licensed therapist prescribes them to him. I don't want to shove pills down his throat, which seems to be what some people think I want to do. As for the numerous suggestions of marriage counseling as opposed to individual therapy, I think this is a great idea I didn't initially consider it because I was so focused on it being his problem. But we are ultimately a team and I'll suggest that to him today. Hopefully, it goes better. Thanks everyone for your input. Story 2. AITA for throwing my biological daughter out of my house after she accused me of abandoning her. Me and my ex-GF were together for barely one year before we broke up. She came into my life eight years after we broke up suing me for child support for a seven-year-old girl, and, after proving paternity, I tried to sue for custody. We were in different states and courts rules entirely in her favor. I got visitation every two months. In reality, I hardly got to see her once, twice a year edit. I tried to visit more but my ex didn't let me. Went to court. Nothing happened. When Anne was 10, my ex asked me to give up my parental rights. I refused. Then, the game started. She would arrange visits last minute so that I cannot afford the tickets and cancel plans last minute so that I would lose money. She kept this up and I broke and gave up my rights. Anne too had a father figure and pretty soon, the call stopped too. When Anne was 10, they moved to another country. I did not talk to them after that. Now, I am married and I have two very beautiful stepchildren whom I love very much. Anne is now 19 and she reached out to me. She was in the state and wanted to visit. I invited her to my home. My family was at my wife's place. I haven't even said hello before she started ranting at me. She told me about how I was a deadbeat father and she hated her mom and stepdad and how I abandoned her etc. I asked her what she was talking about. Turns out, ex and stepfather were really crazy and made her life miserable. She is now NC with them. She talked about how I abandoned her and there was no responsible adult who even cared about her a little bit. At this point, I told her that it wasn't my fault that her mom didn't tell me, pressured me into giving up custody. I guess Anne didn't know that. I explained everything. Even after I explained everything, she continued to yell at me about how I should have done something. I calmly asked her what I should have done. She became more angry and yelled more as she didn't have an answer. I calmly told her that I have always wanted a relationship with her and I was so glad when she called but it's very obvious that she is only here to place blame and I wanted her to leave. She said that wasn't fair and she only came here to know me. I calmly pointed out that she was here for two hours and she hasn't asked a single thing about me and only yelled. In the end, she stormed out. I am still open to having a relationship with her but I am not willing to be anyone's punching bag. Ada.